life in Togo. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I'm going to give, keep it very brief. Mm-hmm. The capital of Togo is Lume, and um, the currency is CFA franc. And the population is 8 million 8.176 million. And the official language is French. Religion, I'm going to buttress on that because that's where the prayer point is going to be. And I'm going to say something that even up to now, when I think about it, it still shakes me to the core. And then we're going to pray. Um, so the religion is Christian is 43.7%. Muslim is 14%. And then there's non 6.2%. Hindu is less than 1%. And Buddhist is less than 1%. But there's folk which is, you know, we know what it is, the African religion, and that is 35.6. You know, in some countries where, like, the Christians are, like, 60%, and the good people are, like, 10%, it's, like, the 10%, they make noise more than the 60 and This one is 43% Christians and 35.6% food. So just imagine, you know, Christians, we, it's like we are shy of our religion, but these guys, they're not afraid. You know, my my father is Togolese, so my 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 grandma told me something, and I say this wherever I go. So if you probably heard me say it a million times, but I'll always say it. She was a fetish priestess. So my father's mom, she was a fetish priestess, and then she's a Christian now, thank God. But then she was telling us every time we are together, she's like, "You guys, you don't know what you have. You don't know God. You know, if if you knew Him." Like I know him, you will hold on. You guys were born in a Christian home. He said those those times, people who wanted to travel to Europe, they used to come and see her. Then she would do concussions and everything, and you know. And then there was one guy who came. He said he wanted to go to Germany, you know. So they did their rituals and everything. He brought the passports. They did the thing. He went. He got the visa, you know. But the guy was supposed to bring some money. And when the guy got the visa, <laughs> he just boom. Could you come straight to Hamburg? <laughs> and then he got to Hamburg, he went to got to immigration to open his passport, and his picture was not in the passport. Hey. When he got to Hamburg, his picture was not in the passport. And then my grandmother was like, he thinks I'm stupid. Me, I've done this thing for you. You have gone. You won't pay me. They deported the guy. The guy came back. The guy had to come and pay before he went again and this time he refused him the visa you know so this is not a joke this is not like i heard it all this is this is like a fetish priestess who has given her life to christ who is telling me this you know so we want to pray Buddhism in in togo is huge you know and churches are churches are struggling you know i know a pastor who's there from kicc and it's like sometimes you like you're even careful who you talk to because if you go and step on someone and the person tells you you see you know that this is this is not an empty threat you know this is serious so i want to pray that the hand of god is going to touch that country and the spirit of god will move in the land of togo because it looks like um, um the devil is taking over with voodooism in that country we want to pray that god just do something let your power be present just have a powerful breakthrough in that country, in Jesus. Name. Let's pray. Shall we pray? Let's pray for Togo. Pray for Togo. Pray for Togo. Pray for the land of Togo. The God's grace and the Spirit shall indeed move over the land. That He shall change hearts, touch hearts, change minds. In the name of Jesus, that the love of God's people, yes, Lord, shall indeed abound to communities. The communities shall run to the Savior, shall run to the saving grace of our Lord Jesus. The nations of God, yes, they shall know Togo for one very good reason. That is indeed us come back to Christ. We are praying that God shall be a change in the land of Togo. Pray and say, God, touch the land, touch the hearts of the people, touch the leadership in every way, touch the leadership, touch the leadership. For God, we ask this of you. In Jesus' name, we are praying. All shall say a big amen. amen. Shall we hear the national anthem? Shall we hear the national anthem? Thank you. 
Thank you.